The Pindling Family vs. Brave Davis and the PLP Can Brave Davis and the PLP survive the Pindling Family's fundamental and structural assault on the party? said that uh, they just didn't want a Pindling on the ticket and that whatever, because it was political season and, and campaign season, they thought that the uh, government or, or would use daddy's or my dad's um, commission inquiry, drug years, crime years, as leverage and tool to win the agenda. These comments are very troubling. The PLP named its party headquarters for Sir Lyndon, named the International Airport for him, and erected a statute in his honor, and his face is on the dollar bill. Yet the Pindling daughter is alleging the PLP is perpetuating dishonesty, a lie and are privately embarrassed by the Pindling presence and legacy of corruption. Those are, those are unfortunate comments. Um, because um, we, the Brestler Party, don't, do not, um, do not accept any negative connotations that's been out there uh, up with Salindo. We revere him as the father of the nation. Would Pindling's daughter risk her father's controversial legacy with her unfettered comments? She says the PLP is afraid of Pindling's drug cartel allegations and commissions of inquiry. Miss Pindling says, Brave Davis and the PLP do not want PLP endemic corruption to be a focus of a general election. Should these tributes to Pindling come down because of Pindling's daughter's confession and revelation? If Brave Davis and the PLP are ashamed of their past, how can they be trusted with our future?